That just looks dangerous. I thought I'd give you just a little bit of a tour of our church today and kind of show you around. Today's Sunday, it is Pentecost here, so it's kind of a, well, it's a bigger holiday here. We're celebrating it. And I'm standing out in our churchyard. Our church actually, this is the building. It is a old um, Soviet uh, kindergarten. And that was uh, one of the grandfathers in our church, and he is a dear old man. Uh, he prays like you wouldn't believe, and he goes to every service, every prayer meeting, and man, the guy loves to pray. Um, I don't know how old he is, but I don't know. He's, I think he's getting close to 90, and he walks here, he just keeps, keeps ticking, keeps praying. Anyway, as I was telling you, this is this is our, our facility here behind behind me, and it is an old Soviet kindergarten. The kids are practicing. That's our. Like kids are gonna sing this morning. So say hello, Nicholas. Say hello. Are you excited for church today? Yeah. Really? Why? I'm ready to go to Sunday school. Oh, I think there might not be any Sunday school because it's a holiday though. I know, but there's sometimes Sunday school holiday. Okay. Good for you. Our, our older kids all left the church before we did, walked home on their own. So we're a one child family right now. Nicholas, tell me what church was about today. Huh? What was church about today? I don't know. What? What happened? Yeah. I think he doesn't know because he was sleeping most of the time. But today was Pentecost, right? Yes. It's the birthday of the church. Which is interesting because it seems to me that a lot of. Um, Churches in the West don't really celebrate that, but it is celebrated here by the Orthodox Church and by and by the Protestant churches, and it's a pretty big. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a pretty big holiday. Usually, the Orthodox Church tradition is to bring these um, pussy willows. No, not the pussy willows. The what? Cattails. Or cattails. The cattails and and a bunch of other flowers, kind of field flowers, to the church. And then they, then they are sanctified in the church, and then they are taken into people's homes, and they're like the blessing in their homes. So we're headed. We're gonna order a little pizza for the family, and then uh, and then take it home. That's the plan for Sunday afternoon. So we got the pizza here and kids are waiting at home and I just gotta wait for Christina because she went to get some drinks. So I'm gonna sit down here for a minute. I wanna cut, tell you a couple of more things about our church because today is Pentecost, which is the birth of the church in the New Testament. Our church is 10 years old. It's called Hope for People. We have about I think right now around 135 members. On a normal Sunday morning, we have around 200 people. We have a lot of kids in our church, about 80 kids, 12 and under. And so it can be a little bit uh, crazy sometimes in the church service when they're in there. Today, like on a day like today when we have a holiday, 
the kids often will do some sort of present or like singing. We have a, we have a kids choir uh, or reciting verses, and so they participate a lot in the um, in the worship services. We have four pastors in our church. I'm one of the pastors, and uh, we usually meet get together once a week. I talked about that on an earlier blog. Usually on, on Tuesdays we get together for prayer and, and to planning. And, uh, you know, praise the Lord, our church has been able to do a lot of um, evangelism outdoor, outdoors, like on uh, June 1st, uh, well not June 1st, on, uh, we didn't do it on June 1st this year, we won't, but um, like on Easter, Christmas, uh, and different holidays like that, we are able to use the territory there, the grounds that we have around our building to um, do just to uh, serve the people, our neighbors, and then to to share the love of Christ and to talk about that and share the gospel. So because of that, a number of people have started coming to our church. And also we use um, things like English Club. Our church has an English Club. Um, and, um, and Sunday School is a way to reach out to the community. And also we do camps, so like this summer right now they're getting ready for camps and um, our daughter Naomi is actually going to be working with a team that is going to an orphanage to do a camp. And hey, they're back. Did you guys get something to drink? Oh, yep. Alright, what? I, no, I did not eat the pizza Bye, yet. Okay. Alright, time to head back to the house. Right there. It's right there. Okay, so the reason for the pizza and the pop and the chips is because we are also celebrating the end of the school year, right Nicholas? Nicholas, are we celebrating the end of the school year? Yeah. How was your school year? Good. Yeah, his school year is good because he's not in school yet. It's Nicholas's last year of freedom. In the fall he starts kindergarten. Oh, 